Dat is heel leuk match. Uh, of de divisional tournament. Zo, uh, so, uh, before we even start, hier is Kodio, hier is de community department representative. Hallo. Hier is Axe. Thank you. There we go, okay. Helix. So I think the match is underway. Here we go again. Mm -hmm. Alright, so based on what we got so far... I believe we weren't on re Future Types rework last round, but this is the same mat, same guns, I believe the same OS and everything. I'm correct. Helix is the red team and blue is PK. So we got two PK stacked up on their left side of spawn holding the two Helix that have pushed right and the PK in middle has just been white. And now you have two PK, so three Helix on their left side and two PK on their right side contesting the Helix trying from pushing. And another PK has now pushed to the left side to assist there, hopefully trying to push the Helix back. So for our players here we got uh, me and Omega streaming, Omega streaming in the Discord for live replay. I mean live Discord right now, and I'll have my replay up right now. And uh, I'm pretty sure these are some PK or Helix. I'm pretty sure they're both PK. 
or both Helix? I'm not too sure. I'm pretty sure they're both Helix. So we got Malarem playing for Helix, Somber Kino, Gunblaz, and Hendrik, and Cisno Ari. For PK, we got the Romer 45. We have Nes Netzak Aeternus. I hopefully I said that right. JXO. I hopefully said that right too. Uh, can I cannot pronounce half the name, so I'm just gonna probably leave them like this, and we got it. So just for you guys able to view and what players we got on for the match. Okay, so now over here we have two two helix on the right pushing back to reinforce their middle. And we have 3 PK on their right side of spawn. And 2 Helix have just been wiped from middle and with PK pushing up. The score is 5 to 6 with PK on the lead just by a mere point. Same 2 Helix holding the left side. Hopefully they'll be able to contest the 2 PK about to push. One of them got low, the rest of them are yellow. And they have just successfully helped their other PK on the other side. And PK has been wiped on their left side of spawn, probably going into reinforce right now, and the right side of the PK is pushing back to middle with the two PK and the two helix holding their left side. Nobody on middle, but PK pushed back into their spawn in the fronts. Will the two helix on their right side push back? Who knows? Their plan is probably to stay where they are. Alright, so Helix has wiped out some of the PK and one Helix in return. So now the score is 12 to 9 for Helix. I got my bets on Helix here. Alright, another Helix been wiped out. Two PK in the middle, and the Helix in the middle has been wiped. They are now pushing the right side of Helix's spawn, and Helix has successfully push back the PK from taking over the right side with Cisno Ari holding back the left side of PK spawn. And believe we have one Helix coming back to reinforce. The PK are pushing out and the fight is goes to Helix and Cisno Ari successfully held against two PK from pushing the left side. And now the Helix has one more reinforced and PK seems to be trapped in their spawn in the front with one unluckily just caught by the angles right there. The two helix on left side of their spawn are now pushing the right side of PK. We have one helix staying in the back and we have the two helix on right side, left side of PK spawn holding. With three PK about to do a push, possibly. Alright, PK seems to be rotating to the right side, unsuccessfully ta uh, successfully held by the Helix, and another PK has been killed. One real low. The angles are really tight here, and PK has to hold their cover. Another PK killed, and the Helix has successfully pushed up to their spawn, holding both the right and left side of PK. So it seems as if Helix strategy is to have two Helix on the right side and left side of PK spawn with one heading in the back. But it looks like they're changing that up to bring Malarem up to the front to assist in pushing them back into their spawn. On this map here, it's really it's really about holding your ground here. With minimal cover too. Alright, it looks like the Helix how the Helix contesting units on the right side of PK spawn have somewhat been wiped, but Helix is quickly going in to reinforce with Malarim pushing up to middle. So we got a little change in their lay in their playout right here, and the PK is now pushing. 
and Hendrick was unsuccessfully held that contest, and now there's with PK, 3 PK on the middle right side of their spawn. The left side of PK spawn still being held with contests of both PK and Helix. And Helix is now pushing up and trying to hold the angles of cover. But we also have two combats over here. And Helix unsuccessfully held PK's push with two. And Helix and PK won the contest of the three Helix trying to push them out. With the single Helix holding up into the right side, of, left side of PK spawn. All right, we got these two here holding the same loadout as usual. Sisnoari and Sombrakino. I don't remember if that changed, but I'm pretty sure it was the same. All right, so Helix has three contesting the three PK on the left side of Helix's spawn. One of them pushing back and two Helix pushing in. One got wiped and will the other be able to hold on? The other chooses to wait for their reinforcements. Looks like the Helix in middle is trying to cut off the PK reinforcements, but just missed them. <clears throat> so, looks like this is PK's play with the 3 PK on right side of their spawn, and 2 PK on the left. Held by the same people, but currently no action going on right now, waiting for either team to make a move. Who will let up first? That'll determine the play of the match. And the points are of just about even. PK and Helix. Neck and neck. And PK with one point ahead. Neither team is letting up. Is Helix going to think of a... Or is Helix going to come up with a bigger push than PK first? Or is PK going to find a way to break through that defense right here on the right side of their spawn? Alright, so the helix, we got one helix in the middle, and we still have everybody in the same positions, currently in a stalemate. Alright, let's watch the fight here for a little bit. Seems as if PK is now pushing out the right side, and the helix have been wiped, unfortunately, and the one in the middle is still there with PK swiping the lead from helix by three. Alright, the two helix have reinforced their left side, but seem to be losing it, with the one helix in middle assisting them, holding their fight. But the left side of PK spawn seems to be in a stalemate still. Oh, I might be wrong. They might push up this one. If they knew the health, they would coordinate a push to take out the last one, but the spawn was too long. Alright, so helix has held on to left side of PK spawn with PK in the lead by two. Helix and PK also in another stalemate on the left side of Helix spawn. Seems the stalemate is holding on with Malarm unluckily caught by the Romer 45 in that angle right there. And now PK has snatched another point, being three ahead of Helix. Looks like we got a strong contest here on PK's left side of spawn. If PK coordinates a push and gets it fast enough, just in case these guys got wiped out to reinforce and push full, they might be able to take it back from Helix. But do they have the points to spare? Indeed they do, but... They don't want to lose any more than that, or else Helix will be able to swipe the win. I mean the points. The lead. Same thing. The closest player currently to being os is Sisno Ari with 6 deaths. Oh, never mind, I read that wrong. We got Malarm with 8 deaths on Helix's team. With PK about the same health as both- same lives as all of their members. And unfortunately, PK was not able to hold Helix's push, and, and Hendrik easily clutched right there to get back the middle left side of their spawn. Now, will he be able to hold this push of 3 PK about to reinforce? Alright, we got one Helix back. 
unluckily got caught by the angles in middle right there by the 3 PK. Alright, the Helix has taken out one. Again, the Helix holds for the rest of them. Helix is not in the lead. PK has taken it by another two points. Will they be able to hold on? Will the Helix right here push around to take out the one left? We'll see here. Can he find the angle? Seems as if they're going around for the PK on the other side of the map. Unfortunately, did not hold that. If a coordinated push by the two helix pushed up, they might have been able to take that win from the PK. Alright, so just a quick uh, look at the leaderboard. We have Cisno Ari holding the top frag for helix, and the Romer 45 holding the top frag for PK. And the highest KD on both teams, we have... Sommer Kino having the highest KD on Helix. I'm making you do Helljax. Another incentive for Helix to win this round of the cup and hopefully push their place into the semifinals, I believe. Quarterfinals. I don't remember how tournaments work, but I know it's something like that. Ooh, one more death in Cisno Aria will be, unfortunately, OS with Helix down by one unit compared to PK. And the highest KD here is held by the Rama 45 on PK's team. Cisno Ari has been taken out by PK, and PK is now taken. Never mind, Helix just roped them from their spawn. And unfortunately, Helix has lost their one of their members, and will have to hold on to a 5v4. Quick look at the chat logs, if we, if we may. And they have been doing conversations, but since this isn't too important, we'll just leave it for then. If you guys want some look into the chat logs, then just let me know in chat. We have the 2pk on left side of Helix's spawn pretty low. Will and Hendrik push them both? Unfortunately, Malarum has also been OS'd, and now Helix is down to 3. Looks like PK is about to snatch the win from them. Ooh, and Hendrik unluckily did not make that kill on the left side of their spawn, with the 2pk now pushing up to close Helix into their spawn with just their single 3. Or triple 3, I don't think it's a single 3, but it is what it is. PK now pushing up with 1 in middle, and 2 on left, and 2 on right. About the same strategy of every team we've seen so far. Will Helix be able to hold on with their last 3 right here? Well, that's time for us to figure out. Unluckily caught by the angles right there. Ooh, Helix has just lost another two. Looks like PK might be able to snatch this win. Indeed, Helljacks are the worst. Alright, we've had this match going on for about 15 minutes or so now. Let's see which team will push up first to break the current stalemate that we have. If Helix pushes up right here, they would able possibly take out the PK healing up right here over time. But it doesn't seem as if Helix wants to make a move and they're all in a stalemate. Which team will make the first move? Alright, PK is pushed up to the left side of Helix. And one PK has been wiped, with one Helix very low. Alright, the PK is pushed up even closer to the middle of Helix spawn, and it seems as if they might not be able to push this out of the spawn trap. If Helix was able to do a coordinated push, they might, just might be able to take over left side of their spawn, but it's already been reinforced and Helix won't be able to take that now. 
Can Helix clutch? Or will PK be getting the flawless right here? Just a quick reminder for all of you all. The last couple of matches, the what was it, RG versus IS and the King versus Nova matches have been replayed in my channel. So if you'd like to go check those out after this stream, then you can go ahead and do that. And depending on who wins here, it looks like PK might be able to snatch this one from Helix. And they will be going up in against Phantom and the full tourney leaderboard will be posted in the description of this stream and the other videos for you to go check out. Both teams just doing slight little jabs of the SMG into each other. And it looks like this jousting might result in a he loss of 3 helix. Or the 1 PK on left side of their spawn. PK with now 40 kills. And I'm too lazy to count the math of how much helix would have. Maybe I might be able to sneak a quick advertisement in here. Also check out the rest of my channel too. Just if you like the content, I will be doing a Robux giveaway at 300 subscribers. So get 10 friends to subscribe and boom, the giveaway will commence. It'll definitely be over 100 Robux, maybe even 1k, depending on how much I'm willing to give in this from my group funds. But just to be prepared for, be prepared for the two weeks of waiting on Roblox's new update. Join the Roblox donation group that is down in the description, just so you don't have to wait out that time. Maybe, maybe even consider joining my Discord server, haha, <laughs> wink wink, and liking all the other videos. But I'll leave that up to you guys, and we'll just keep watching this match. The jousting has been in a stalemate for the last couple of minutes, and neither team has been able to push closer out or into the spawn. I might need some water. Alright, we got the PK heading back to... It looks like PK is coordinating a push right now. Not too sure what they're up to, but they are effectively pushing out. Hopefully trying to pick off Helix from letting up a little kill by the angles of the left side of right side of their spawn by the 2 PK. But I don't think Helix will fall for that trick again. Is Helix aware? I don't even think Helix might be aware that they push back. PK trying to bait out Helix out of their spawn to quickly snatch the kills off the last couple of players. Let's quickly listen in to the VC on the Discord to see what's going on here. Doesn't seem as if anybody's communicating. Ooh. Seems as if Omega has seen you know, the same track. So there you go, it's said by Omega just right now. If you guys are wondering why we have this match today, it's because PK and Helix are finally able to find the time for today. Uh, 
Correct. I'm going to delete my camera like this. Uh, now you do the commentary, and uh, I go delete. All right then. <laughs> it looks like the stalemate's gonna be here for a while. If any of you are watching the stream for the replay or whatnot, the stalemate has been going on for about five minutes or so. Felix not taking the bait of PK's push, and now we have PK pushing up through middle, and Helix backed back into their spawn. Two PK are coming up into middle, and they're holding up the Helix in their spawn. The two PK on right side of Helix's spawn have stayed where they are, and positioned just in case for a push commenced by Helix. Just in case any of you want the closer ups of the match, then quickly go check into the YouTube stream until Omega's back. Two PK holding, and it seems a couple of jousts by both team have just hold on. Neither team seems to be pushing, I think both of them are worried and conservative about their lives here. But PK does have a couple to spare, just in case they don't want to push it out. But Lucian will have to watch out with the 8 deaths they have accumulated. Alright, these last couple jousts have not gone anywhere with both teams above 80 health. Never mind, I was wrong. Lucian has got down to 70, but is slowly regaining their health back up to 80%. Helix has su successfully healed up to full, and if they decide, they might be able to push out the 2p kit. No. If they play this correctly, they shouldn't be pushing out these two here because the angles of the 2pk on their right side will definitely take them out right there. So they really have to wash themselves here. Oh, seems the PK are finally pushing on the right side of Helix spawn. And now it's just a matter of who will let up first. Alright, we got a trade between there, one Helix, one PK. And they have quickly been respawned. Unfortunately, PK will have to wait for their reinforcement to climb all the way back up the map. One other PK wiped out, and I'm pretty sure PK still has the lead here. And Lucian with two more lives remaining. Will he be able to hold on, or will Helix be able to grab that and hopefully take the 4v3 to their advantage? It still really is happening. No, I mean, I'm not too sure how the rules of this go. I'm just here for commentary and spectating and streaming. And replays. I guess they're all the same thing. Um, I believe the community department heads and Omega have the complete rules about this. They could, but that'd rush both teams. But it seems as if Helix has finally got down to yellow, and PK might be able to push them out. With a single PK on yellow, but the rest of them on full. Ish. Alright, they let Helix heal up a little bit, and now they're back into the green zone. And it doesn't seem as if any team will push relatively soon. With the 2pk just hanging out on the right side of Helix spawn, just waiting for Helix to let up and give them the angle to effectively wipe them out. Sometimes my English just doesn't work, but... Yeah. Yes, I'll be commentating and spectating the next couple of rounds in the Division Cup up until the end. 
Um, I don't know. You'd have to ask Omega about that. Oh, hi, Omega. It's stuck in a stalemate. They traded a couple times, and Helix is still stuck in their spawn. Pretty sure Helix got up by two or so. Yeah. PK is trying to find a way to push through the defensive of defensiveness of Helix's hold right now. I mean, PK definitely has the lives and the numbers on them. It just all comes down to aim, really, and the luck. If that is even a factor. Indeed. Doesn't look like the PK on the right side of Helix spawn want to push up because they're trying to hold the angle and see if Helix will let up. Do you guys prefer the camera like this or like this? Like this. Uh, just so you know, un uh, a couple users have joined by following. Just for you to know. Rework is a little broken, but it is what it is as long as it works. The PK are trying to beat out the Helix to come out, and hopefully... Never mind, all PK are back in their spawn, waiting for Helix to push up. I think this is their new strategy. But Helix isn't quite taking the bait yet. Probably coming up with a plan right now to see if PK will let up, or figure out how they'll play this out. I guess it's a time of waiting now and see who how this will play out. Probably the longest match so far. They can forfeit. It doesn't work on rework. Oh, there's my avatar. <laughs> Disappeared from the no clip. Alright, so we got 4 PK on the le right side of Helix spawn, and Lucian pushing up to the left side, so P he Helix cannot break her way. But if Helix pra plays this correctly, if they take out Lucian, then they will be on their last couple lives. Yep. But the thing is, on right side of Helix spawn, PK have the angles if they try to get out of there. So it is a good play on PK's part. But Lucian is holding on by 2 health. Right there was just got down to 1. Luckily held out to Helix's fire. If Helix is somewhat able to push out right there, they might win it. And the Romer 45 just took out Gunblaz with a couple of jousts by the 4 PK on their right side. Lucian effectively healing up, and Helix doesn't seem to know which way to quite go right now. I don't believe Helix might even be aware of how low Lucian might be. But then again, it all comes down to the angles of and actually having to get over to Lucian. Because the right side of their spawn is so open. Oh wow. So it seems as if Helix is having a little bit of calm issues right now. And might and that might be their downfall right there. I see. Though in every team it's a f it's good to hear out everything that a member has to say rather than talking over each other. I mean I know I do have these issues too, but it's a hard thing to work around. Being completely honest here, if this was IRL and both team all both teams were able to talk to each other face to face, though that'd probably never happen, it might be a little more effective on comms. Probably always is. 
based on the actual face-to-face -face human communication and the science behind that, but I'm too lazy to talk about it. And what do I know? Okay, so the 4PK, one of them is healing up, and doesn't seem they're getting any shots. Ooh, Lucian has got pretty low on the side there, but Helix is not taking the bait of pushing out Lucian. Unfortunate, because if they got this angle right here and they were all able to push together, they might be able to get two members onto that side. And now it's too late because the two, the four PK are now pushing Helix on their right side, and Lucian's pushing the left, overwhelming the Helix in their spawn. They traded right there, and the two Helix are about to get wiped. Oh, never mind, they traded again. But on the oh PK, yeah PK got it. All good. And Hendrik on their last life, and Lucian luckily has not taken a death from that push, and will be able to hold on to their next two lives. Helix does not want to get out of their spawn. It is. It is possible. <laughs> Indeed. If Somber Kino is able to clutch up and keep their lives together for Helix, maybe lose one of them, Helix might be able to take out two PK. Because... Yeah, against the 5v2. Indeed. If Helix properly aims and takes out Lucian, they're just gonna be stuck jousting like this until one team lets up. Ooh, PK has wiped out the Helix. Alright, so this win's going to PK. Unfortunate, they don't see the couple of PK on this side. If Lucian pushes up, P 
PK could easily wipe them out of their spawn, but it doesn't seem they want to do that. Oh, there we go. Alright, so now... Oh, they... Tr Never mind, I read the lives wrong, so... PK is still like in the back foot when it comes to pushing. Uh, 5v2 is a win, but... Oh, they lost another one. And, oh, okay. Yeah, every time Helix dies, it's... Uh, GG, yeah, GG. Helix is on their last two lives. Alright. Oh, they got one. Aww. They got Lucian a little late. That's unfortunate on Helix's behalf, and they won't be able to take this one now. Yeah, no flawless either by Heli by PK, so... Indeed. Ah. There we go. No, I'm stuck. There we go, okay, I'm back. Oh, <laughs> I almost got stuck there. GG's all around to both teams. So now we'll have heal guns. Little switch up here. King may be able to hold on. From a couple of things I've seen from King, they do have a lot of good pockets. So if they use that to their advantage, they might be able to hold on to RG. Yes. The final will also have many events. However, for those interested in the final, which will be whoever wins from PK versus Phantom against whoever wins from RG versus King, it will be a struggle, not necessarily a strategized match with multiple sides. The map will be Hex, Nero Hill, and uh, yeah. There will be no, many events. And I believe one team will be able to, the team who loses from the finals will be able to fight for third place against one of the other teams. I'm not too sure or remember how that goes. Alright, so it seems as if the match is going to conclude right here. Just a couple of conversations between both teams. Yeah, unfortunate. If Helix was able to hold on maybe one more round and use the heal guns to their advantage, they might be able to snatch the win of the cup. But, unfortunate, they weren't able to make it to the next round. Alright, seems as if PK is settling their time against Phantom. Everybody who's still in the stream in VC, be prepared for the next match about to happen in 40 minutes, I believe, against King and RG. And um, be sure to check my YouTube channel for the replays of the last two matches. And you'll be able to see IS and RG and how RG won that right there. And how King was able to beat Nova on the third round. And a replay of the current match to see how PK and Helix were jousting for quite a long time and may have just had the longest match within the cup. But uh, until then, make sure you subscribe to stay tuned in for all of the next notifications. <laughs> no! It's my little advertising window. It's just, it's just my reflexes.
<laughs> oh no, Eddie's not gonna trust me. I'm joking. Eddie will, I hopefully. But uh, I'm probably gonna cut it right there so I don't advertise too much. So just check out the YouTube channel and I'll see you guys in the next round for RG versus King. And until then, 